in the race for governor, two of the three Republican candidates spent some time campaigning in the Pine Belt. WJTV 12's Gerald Harris reports from Hattiesburg. Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves and retired Chief Justice Bill Waller campaigned on education, both making it a top issue. Reeves toured USM's DeBart School for Language Disorders, touting the school's success. I had the opportunity to visit a couple of times uh, over the last eight years, uh, and every time I'm here, I'm just terribly impressed. Reeves walked the hall, spoke with some of the 80 full time students with learning challenges, and met with teachers and administrators. If you have adults that are focused on doing what's best for kids, and I'm going to show you a, a, a situation that's going to work out very, very well uh, for the kids. And that's what's happening here. Reeves says he looks forward to more investment into education as governor. The reality is when we start talking about improving the overall quality of education in Mississippi, uh, it's a multifaceted approach. Justice Wallace spent his time with teachers in a town hall and movie star restaurant. I want to hear from the teachers because I think the people on the front line can tell me what what is most critical to them. Waller pinpoints teacher pay as at least one solution to Mississippi's education woes. The election year pay raise of $1,500 was short and late. And my pledge would be that we would have some improvement on salary, some pay raise every year until we reach the southeastern average. Waller also fielded questions about the state's standardized testing, something he looked to do away with. As I want to explore other options. For one, it's very costly in classroom time. Uh, I want to look at uh, ACT tests that are produced nationally that would be much cheaper. That, that is the gold standard. Walla also took questions on technical career pathways, giving options to students who don't want to go to college. We need to examine the, the high school classroom process and see what we can do to better connect high school students to employment. Reeves and Walla will take on Representative Robert Foster in the August 6th GOP primary. And that was Gerald Harris reporting. And just a reminder that WJTV 12 is your local election headquarters. We'll have everything that you need to know ahead of the August 6th primaries and Election Day on November 5th.